In this book, I had the privilege to look back at 50 years of research and practice in this area of, of people-oriented city planning. And of course, I could realize that around 1960, there were two important changes in the background of planning worldwide. That was the, the introduction in big scale of the modernistic ideologies, which really happened around 1960. And the other one was the invasion of the motor car, which started at different times in different cultures. But in, in Europe and, and America, um, it really started in the big way around 1955, 60. And what happened with this was that the moment the motor cars arrived, we all got so obsessed with the motor cars and we allowed them at once to occupy every single space in the existing cities. And over the years, of course, uh, we've seen a gradual erosion of quality for people all over the world. And we've seen that the traffic engineers became stronger and stronger as a profession. Everything had to do with capacity to have room for more cars, room for more car parking. Um, it, it's very bad in, in, in many cities, but maybe we can all be happy that it's more bad in Romania, in Bucharest. However, they've now got my book in Bucharest, so it will <laughs> soon be much better. Some of the things which has happened with all this uh, to, um, uh, automobile invasion is that we have lost our sense of scale. In the old days, all cities were in five kilometer an hour scale. The spaces were small, the signals were small, there were many details, you could see the people, and you had anything in the city was up close and still you can see the mountains in the distance. Now, gradually, we make everything in 60 kilometer an hour scale, where you have big spaces and big signs, and there are no details, and sensually, it's not at all very interesting to walk around here. We used to have cities in five kilometer scale, like Venice here, where everybody walk and all the spaces are small and you have a lot of sense expressions going around in a place like this one. And now we have 120 kilometer an hour cities where you can go for hours and hours and it will never be interesting. What happened also was that every single city in the world at once got a transport and traffic department which at once as good professionals started to count all the cars going east and going west and they had perfect statistics of everything and everything, every time there was something planning to be done, all these statistics from the transport departments were very useful and meant that the cars were looked well after. In all these 50 years, not a single city had a department for pedestrians and public life. And in all these 50 years, almost no city had any documentation, knowledge, or statistics about how people use the city. And that has, has become a very great problem because you always plan for what you know. And if there's a big sector where you know very little, then it's generally being overlooked. This has been for many years a situation. It is now quickly changing. <clears throat> 